Scrappers, Tom here. I want to talk about a question that someone asked us. They talked about catalytic converters and really what, what's the future of catalytic converters with this EV push going on. So it, it's interesting, you know, we buy catalytic converters over at rrcats.com and, you know, we get our cats in all of the time and, you know, combustible engines are not going away anytime soon. You know, you have, you have these cars that are on the road, millions and millions of cars all over the U.S. and Canada, and they'll have these catalytic converters on them. Well, obviously, electric vehicles don't need catalytic converters, and as much as different administrations want to be able to create more electric vehicles, I don't think that we're even close to having every vehicle made without a catalytic converter or only as electric vehicles. Let me explain why. Uh, you have cross-country trucks, right? You got big trucks that, that suck in diesel. They have these DPF filters. Now, the DPFs are great. They're, they're filled with rhodium, and the, the, the DPFs still need those metals and when guys are going cross country they're not looking to, to park their truck and charge for two three hours to get five six hundred miles of range they're looking to pump up and go on top of that you have other groups like the oil and the gas industries that are still pushing a lot of legislators to curb some of the electric vehicles and different elections have different consequences so maybe the next election cycle depending on when you're watching this changes parties and then the electric vehicle push isn't as prevalent but when i look at catalytic converters and the precious metals that are in them they're not going to be going away if anything these ice engines these internal combustible engines they're only going to be increasing the amount of precious metals that are in them to decrease the amount of pollution that's flowing out of them. So while catalytic converters long term will go away from the auto sector, you're talking maybe a hundred years, twenty, you know, twenty one hundred. It almost sounds like a fake year at this point, uh, or later than that, until we have ways where cars can drive with solar panels on the roofs or sucking in air and be able to convert it into energy, kind of like next generation stuff. We're very far away from getting rid of catalytic converters, and I'm not even talking about refineries. You have different chemical refineries and other large oil and gas industries. They need catalysts to be able to curb a lot of their emissions. And don't forget, what we do here in the United States is only part of what happens because as other countries are continuing to open more coal power plants, having more fossil fuels, they're going to need catalytic converters for the foreseeable future. You know, countries like India with 1.4 billion people, you know, they're going to be driving these old ice engines for the foreseeable future. So you're still going to need these precious metals. And that's why I say metals are not a U.S. business. Metals are a global trade. So, you know, that should clue you in. Sure, EVs might take some of the market share in the United States, in Europe, in Canada, but that. You know, hundreds of countries or a couple hundred other countries, they're not pushing electric vehicles like the U.S. is. So maybe the U.S. is refining these precious metals and then selling them overseas to be used in other auto manufacturers. So hopefully this gives you a good idea on the future of catalytic converters. Looking forward to hearing your comments. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.